Okay, the last two days of my life have been the worst. Okay, let's rewind a bit and show you what happened. We started here. This is my hair. Long. Healthy, I've always had it. Long hair forever. These are my braids. Check the braids out. Really cute. Go to wash it. That happens. So, I gotta coat it in conditioner, go to the salon, get under the heat, and then I'm left with this cemented, matted hellhole of a nightmare. Lots of my hair is gone, as you can see. I'm left with this like Billy Ray Cyrus look. I've had braids before. It's been cute before. I've let it half down. I love it. It's great in the summer. And then it looks like this. I wash it out and I go back to living my life. So this time it just hit different. This is what I mean by hit different. When you're past the point of a mental breakdown, full-blown disassociation <laughs> so at this point it's day two and everyone is trying to work on my hair when i say my hair stylist worked her tail off i mean it this was a total of 19 hours at the end of it and i was pretty sure i was going to be bald at the end of it and i ended up with hair 19 hours of work it was a hell of a ride but I'm not bald. Oh. Can we just give a moment of silence to the hair? Okay, let's continue. There's a woman. She has something to say. And then I'm going to add my other two cents. Oh. This is such an interesting comment because I did not delete your comment, babe. I actually even responded to you. Also, I think you're confused about what's happening here. I don't need to save face. I'm not the one that looks like my toddler tried to cut me bangs. I'm not the one that gave myself traction alopecia. I'm not the one that looks like I got into a fight with Edward Scissorhand and Law. I'm not the one looking like a Brad Mondo. I tried to cut my own layers and failed. So I don't need to save face. All my edges are intact. When I take this hairstyle out, my hair's gonna be the same length. Actually, it's probably gonna be longer than when I put it in. I'm not gonna end up like a bald head scallywag because the hair, the style is meant for my hair. I don't need to save face. And that little passive aggressive queen, I hope you heal. I hope you heal from having to walk around in public looking the way that you do. <laughs> Cause I'm not gonna lie, you a strong one. I would be embarrassed. I'd be ashamed. You might wanna invest in a scarf for a little while. That don't look good. Why would you do that? And the people who are encouraging you to do that, again, I don't understand why. Why would you do that to yourself? You have beautiful long hair. I miss back in the days when white girls used to rock long hair and look very beautiful doing that look gorgeous stunning long hair bangs layers of bangs you are not a black woman where you have to cover up with wigs even though you wear wigs because nina nitande attention you like to insert yourself where it is not necessary you have long beautiful hair some of you guys don't have hair you have extensions that match your hair no one is forcing you to wear afro hair at your workplace but we are the reason why we wear uh, your hair is because your people don't like us wearing our own hair you call it nappy you call it whatever names but do you, what's your reason for wearing cornrows it is not for your hair it is not for your hair we, there's a reason why we do the cells that we do. Black hair goes with it, but but your hair, mm, 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 mm. yo, Kelly, why would you do that? And then she makes a long video talking crap. It must be the black men that are encouraging you. I, I'm sure it's them because they're so goo goo gaga over you, girl. I'm sure it's them. Black American men, I'm sure they are the ones doing this. They're the ones encouraging you to do this. And now you feel like you're the most beautiful queen to ever work the grace of the earth. It's them. Oh my God. Now you are thinking of doing it again. Moment of silence. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you to the lovely women who were all over my DMs because they knew that they were going to get dragged in the comments if they didn't jump on the hate bandwagon um, and just hang out in that echo chamber. Y'all were so kind in my DM, trying to figure out what happened to my hair, giving me tips on how to avoid it from happening, and telling me how cute it looked, and that it's okay for a human to have human braids in their human hair, and just all around top-notch, amazing women. I really appreciate y'all's support and being so kind-hearted. So, a few things here I want to answer and clarify. My black hairstylist, mm -mm. hair braider, was happy to do my braids again this summer, and she loves to see how cute it is on me. My hair braider and I both knew and agreed my hair can handle tension. My hair is strong enough for braids. My hair did not break off because it was braided. I have had <laughs> very long hair. I still have very strong hair, and I'm not bald. So... I took my braids out about a week, week and a half after she braided them. She did add a little bit of the synthetic in, and I took that out and then let my hair just be down for about two days. And here's where I messed up. I did not brush it enough before I got in the shower. Did y'all not see that I was, like, making fun of myself? Mm -mm. It's my hair. Mm -mm. However, I was in a rush, and I messed up. Mm -mm. So I didn't brush that enough, and I got in the shower, and I used a shampoo that I don't normally use just mm -mm. because I was in a rush, and it was there. Mm -mm. It is absolutely wild to me that I made a video sharing my experience and never did I place blame on my wonderful hair braider hairstylist. I didn't say anything about anyone. I was just sharing my experience. And I even said, I get this done. I get my hair braided. And that doesn't normally happen. This was my mistake and I'm laughing at myself. And y'all are offended by me <laughs> making fun of my own self and referencing how my hair at that point in that photo looked like Billy Ray Cyrus. Like... <laughs> can things not be fucking funny anymore i'm taking responsibility for the fact that i didn't do my normal aftercare the day that i went to wash my hair and that's my bad Ooh. whatever y'all will have to pardon me because i've always grown up in an american culture that is deeply assimilated uh a place where we can always do and wear and be whatever the fuck we want to be y'all do realize how silly it sounds to say that i can't get my hair braided right right that's like me telling my hairstylist, hey girl, since you're black, you know you can't wear yellow hair or red hair. You know you can't wear blue colored contact lenses, right? You see, you see how dumb that sounds? It's dumb. We should be celebrating all cultures and hair and beauty and tattoos and piercings because life is art life is beautiful and sacred and we are a part of that as human beings unless you choose to have a rotten soul and regurgitate terminology and divisive nonsense that the media is spewing to control our minds some of y'all need to get in touch with source and have a spiritual awakening <laughs> i genuinely had no idea that my hairstyle choice with my hairstylist was going to trigger so much hate and it's funny because she and i can chit chat and share words of encouragement and life and enjoy each other's company. All while she's choosing to do a braid style on my hair, even though we have different melanin. Man, it's at the end of the day, it's really just heartbreaking to see how many people still fall for the divisive traps and how many people still are so broken in their souls that they can't see that we're one human race. To wish death upon me for wearing braids in my hair is just, like, next level. And for those people, I really hope you can find the beauty that is this sacred life that we are living. We all have the capacity for lightness or darkness. And it's what you do with that choice that really defines you. Mm -mm. Get your mind right. Get your spirit right. Elevate your energy. I bet you'll feel a whole lot better. I thought as a collective, we were all past being nasty and hateful for no fucking reason. But what I've come to understand 
is that I could literally shoot out rainbows and some of y'all would still be rotten in the inside.